packing for my trip tomorrow. I try to use my lunch bell as much as I can. There's a lot of like little pockets and little places to store like tea and sanitizer wipes are huge. I keep extra of these to give to passengers if they need it or me if I need it. If you're hungry and you're on the plane and there's no food for purchase or you don't want to purchase the food and you have oatmeal, you can just ask a flight attendant for a glass of hot water and you have an instant meal. I'm gonna plug my tablet in. I have a two day trip. I don't, this house doesn't have a lot of plugs. Bart's laughing at me because I'm packing my lunch right now and I'm like, ooh, I'll make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with one of these um, hamburger sourdough buns. And I'm like, it's just like normal sliced bread. It's just, it's kind of made for a hamburger, but you could totally make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with this. And he was laughing at me. So is that like not okay? Like, can you use hot dog buns to make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches or hamburger buns? Or am I like such a weirdo? So it's gonna be a two day trip. So I have pre-packaged some pistachios for one day and some pistachios for the next day because if I take the whole bag of pistachios, I will like literally eat it in one sitting. I have an orange. So, so far that's what I got. I am definitely going to use this bread and make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I also just boiled some eggs, so I'll take two of those and then Bart will have two for his work tomorrow. So I have that ready to have those. And then I have oatmeal. I think between the eggs, the oatmeal, pistachios, and an orange, I'm set for food tomorrow. And then at the hotel, there's a Whole Foods close by the hotel, like within walking distance. So I'll just go there during the layover and get some food for the next day. That's how you gotta be when you're a flight attendant. You just gotta be resourceful and use what's around you and not be afraid to walk. Progress. Got my coffee here, all packed up and ready to go. It's 5.23 a.m. I have to leave here by 5.30 to be on time to DCA. So, got seven minutes. Just landed at LAX. It's busy, you guys. Our flight was completely full. Like completely. There was maybe six open seats. So that's good. That means travel starting back up. Look, look at all the people. Okay, this side's a little empty, but that other side, that was full. As I'm now still getting furloughed on October 2nd, but this is such a good sign. All these people in the airport. It's like the slowest door ever. I always lock this, you guys. Always. I've had people open the door by accident. They've been given the wrong room. So this is a must. Hotel safety. Okay, Whew. you know the favorite, my favorite thing at the end of the trip, heels off, scarf, and lanyard off, and now mask. It's like the best feeling in the world. I'm like, whoo. Okay, I'm gonna take my hair out. So I woke up late this morning. Of course, like I always wake up late, like literally. I let, I my alarm goes off and I'm like, okay, snooze. Okay, snooze again. And then like, oh, if I do it a third time, I'm I'm late. I'm guaranteed to be late. My mom is coming to hang out, so good thing I have two beds here. Uh, she's gonna ha come have a slumber. When my mom comes and spends the night with me on my flight attendant trips, she likes to have the bed, have the bed by the window, and then I get the bed closest 
to the door. Like, do you guys have a favorite bed when you go to a hotel and you get two beds? Do you sleep in the one closest to the door or closest to the window? I honestly like to sleep by the one closest to the window, but since my mom is coming, we're gonna give her the one closest to the window. So when I get to my hotel room, I like to set everything up because if I don't set everything up now, I, I'll just, it'll stay in my suitcase and it won't come out. All right, so what I mean by set everything up is, like I will take, this is my lunch pail, and I know for right now, I've, I've got ice packs in here, and these need to go into the freezer. Oh no! There's no freezer in here! Oh no! So they won't be cold. I feel like you just never know what you're gonna get. Like the fridge that I had last week when I was here had a freezer and now this one doesn't. I had hard boiled eggs in this little guy and you guys, if you have not heard of these things, they are called stashers. These are like, you know the, the plastic Ziploc bags that like you put a sandwich in or you put little snacks in? Oh, I just had one like this. So I should have put this in a stature, but these are for my friend. He yeah, he told me to buy these pumpkin pie Kit Kat bars and they were like amazing. I bought them, I tried one and I was like, no, those are so gross. So <laughs> those are for my friend. If I were to put hard boiled eggs in like this bag, they always crack and break. But when you put it in here, cause it's like silicone, reusable, dishwasher safe, I'm like an infomercial. <laughs> But I have a bunch of these in a bunch of different colors and i am been obsessed with these lately. I think I just bought them off Amazon. I'll link them for you guys, but if you take your lunch a lot, those are worth it. But I only have one of this size. I have a bunch of the big size, but only one of that one. So I actually have to get more. I love it when the hotels provide like that little bench. That way we don't have to put our bag on the floor and bend down and get everything and we don't have to put it like on the bed or or anywhere else that it's not supposed to go. It can just sit there pretty. I'm like scared to open my bag because I never know. I forget what I pack and then I'm like, okay, what are they gonna see? Oh, all right, it's not bad at all. It's totally not bad. It's not organized, but it's not bad. So when I get here, this is a little jacket that I brought. I'm just gonna set Set that jacket there. I like packing this bat, this jacket because it doesn't wrinkle. Like I can scrunch it up into the bag and then it'll unwrinkle really easily. Probably gonna wear that later. I'll actually probably wear my hat, a white shirt, my hat, and let's be honest, I'm gonna wear leggings today. <laughs> I kind of just take it out so things can de de wrinkle because like this is. This is really wrinkly, but let that lay out while I'm napping. And I need to take my toiletry bag. <laughs> I don't like my toiletry bag to get too wet. So I honestly always put it on top of the tissue thing. Is that weird? <laughs> so I get that set up so that in the morning I'm not like, or at night when I'm really tired, I'm not like rustling around for that. I think we're good. Oh, my shoes. Okay. Those are gonna be my shoes that I'm gonna wear later. Yeah, everything is out of there. Oh, over here, take out my in-flight shoes so they're not in my bag. I need to charge my company tablet because this, this always has to be at 100% uh, before you step onto the aircraft. So I always get that thing charged my tablet always charging in the restroom because if I have it plugged in somewhere in the room, I will most likely forget it. But if I have it plugged in in the bathroom, as I'm like doing my like final walkthrough, like did I get everything, do I have everything, I always will look in the bathroom and say, okay, do I have everything from here? And that is definitely I'll see it and be like, okay, oh my gosh, grab my tablet. I've like developed this method if I am charging something and do not want to forget it because you guys don't know how many phone chargers I have left or camera batteries charging in hotels. Even my camera one time I left at a hotel. I will charge it in the restroom. 
it's such a lower percent of chance that you will actually forget it if you charge it in the restroom. Oh no, it's 1028. My mom's getting here around one, so I have a little while to just take a nap. I'm gonna close, oh my gosh, this is like so far over here. I'm gonna close these blinds so I can get a nap and I'll see you guys when I wake up. All right, we're at Whole Foods, picking up some snacks for my lunch tomorrow. Woo! Ooh, they're a little empty. I totally forgot to set my alarm for when my mom was coming. And like, I woke up because she was knocking on the door. I'm like, oh my gosh, sorry. Hi, mom. Guys, look. I was literally just telling you guys about these. Look at all the colors they come in. These just got back from walking to Whole Foods. I'll show you guys what I picked up. I wasn't gonna get these, but I saw these at the register. Just these cute little brownie bags. So I actually got one for each of my crew members tomorrow. I just thought those were so cute and they were literally like a dollar, like 97. And I thought, you know, a lot of us are getting furloughed. This will be a nice little like, here you go. Uh, <laughs> I did end up buying one of these stashers because I don't have this really pretty purple color. My mom told me to try this chocolate that has uh, that has no sugar. She said it's like really good and it's not as bad for you. So I was like, okay, I'll try it. Cause you know when you get those chocolate cravings. I bought one nectarine to go with my fruit. I love nectarines. This is going to be my lunch tomorrow on the, on the plane, just a little pasta salad. Here, I'm gonna put that in the fridge. And then I got a iced cold brew coffee so I don't have to buy coffee at the airport. So I love it when there's like grocery stores around like where the hotels are so I can just walk over there, get my steps, and then buy little snacks. So that is for tomorrow. So we only have one flight tomorrow, just LAX to DCA. I wanna have my snacks so I'm not like starving on the plane and I like, you know those snicker commercials when you turn into like another person cause you're so hangry? That's totally me. So I always have plenty of snacks to like get me through. Okay, we're gonna go to one of these restaurants here on the pier. We literally just walked here from the hotel and it took like 10 minutes, less than that. This is like the life. I'm gonna miss this. I'm savoring every moment of this. That's where we're gonna eat El Torito. Look at this, yum. Did you try it? It's still sizzling. Wait, is that the corn stuff, Mom? Yes, that's the corn. Wish, that's so good. <laughs> it's worth it with all the sauce. Tacos. I know, I didn't get any of the beans, but this corn dessert here is like amazing. Mom got some too. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Oh wait, wait, my hair. <laughs> I can't even deal with that, so perfect. Mom, what's the difference with your hair now? Well, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't been, I wasn't. You're like the best guest star. Friendship. Friendship and being on, a, on the beach, on yes, the, beach. the ocean. Maybe I got it on film. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it, is. Ah! it was right there. I think there's Mom, when did you live here? Like 10 years ago? I lived here about 10 years ago and this was my favorite churros spot <laughs> and we still come back and the churros taste exactly the same they're yes. so good mukbak mukbak channel that's my mukbak channel okay this is so cool they're finishing up a boat race and all these sailboats are coming into the finish line that's so cool <laughs> But I was, mom's like, I'm gonna call for room service. She doesn't hear a dial tone. And she's like, wait a second. It's not plugged in. There's another, there's another phone over there, but oh my god, that's so funny. Okay, so we just got back to the room. I had to take a shower. I had like churro dust all over me. And I was so sweaty from just laughing so hard. That was such a fun late lunch, early dinner, dunch. Uh, okay, so it's 7.13 p.m. That's really 10.13 p.m. DC time. So it's almost close to my bedtime.
Okay, it's not a picture, it's just video. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right, let's check our room. It's the next morning. I've got all my stuff packed. Got my shoes ready. My lunch pail is packed. I got everything out of the fridge. Got essentials here. Okay, let's just compare beds. That's my bed. That's my mom's bed. That's how normal people sleep. And then I like scrunch everything up together. It is 7.50. Pickup is at 8 a.m. downstairs. One flight today, LAX to DCA. And I get in at like 5.22, it says we're supposed to land. So that probably means like five because we always make up time in the air. So it probably means about 5 p.m. And this is nice because all last month I was getting home around 8.39 and this month I get to get home at five, which is perfect because I can eat dinner at a reasonable hour. Put your country and your city in and it'll come up with all of the Different baths, different oh. rooms. All right, good morning LAX. Ooh, I'm gonna miss her flight. One and done, one and done, one and done. This is so exciting. Stephanie, are you excited? Yes, one and done. Oh, you're getting the... Oh, you dip it like that? Mm -hmm. I like pour it on. <laughs> and you're you're a dipper, I'm a pourer. Mmm. McBong Channel in full effect. LAX, we have an employee a lounge cafeteria. And it's really good prices and they make the best breakfast burritos. So back at DCA. <laughs> I'm officially off work. I let my hair down. Oh, Honey, it's raining! Ah! Ah! It's raining! Oh my god! Oh my god! It like just started raining like crazy. Okay. Ah! Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh, that was. It literally just started raining out of nowhere. Wait, wait, wait! Put my seatbelt on. Oh. Ah. Okay. Oh. oh, that looks. <laughs> that looked like Franny back there in his dog bed. Franny didn't go to work oh. with me today. Oh my gosh! Look at these. This is crazy. Do you like my crazy hair? Oh, your hair today. Okay, calm down. Look. No more couch. No more sofa here. Oh. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you got moose moose. You got moose moose. <laughs> okay. Home. Trip done. I have four more trips this month.